Hi everyone, this is Ida Created to Create here for Spellbinders. I wanted to share a card that I created with the new Becca Fecan uh, 3D vignette and it's the 3D retro television. And when I first saw this die, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but the more I looked at it and thought about it, I don't know about you guys, but me and my siblings, we, we grew up watching, um, every time before Christmas came, as soon as the Christmas movies or cartoons started, we would watch them. We would all get up super early if something was coming on really early to watch. Or at night, we'd all, you know, just gather around the TV to watch the classics. And, um, so I wanted to make a Christmas, um, a Christmas type of card with the the 3D TV and I want to share with you what I used. I did um one of the dies was sent to me by Spellbinders, which is the 3D retro I'll share it with you right here, which is the 3D retro uh television right here. So that was sent to me uh, by Spellbinders to create with it. I love for that um, they give me an opportunity to see the new collection before it comes out and then I'm able to play with it or with some of them. Um, and I didn't use all the dice to the retro uh, television. I used some of them and I'll share with y'all uh, what I did use. I also used this older die and I think this is still available. Now I wanted a sentiment that looked more like a oldish retro type of uh, holiday greeting and I didn't really have one from Spellbinders uh, but they did come out with one that I think would look good but I had this older one and I used Tis the Season so I used this one and I think this is still available. I'll link everything that I used in the description box that way you guys if you want to get it uh, it's there for you and then I just shared this with y'all that I had picked up the Holiday Blooms uh, from Spellbinders. And um, the main reason I picked it up was for this little poinsettia. I, I really love it. And um, so that's the reason that I picked it up. And I, I, I'm i glad that I did because I really like the way the, the poinsettias came out. I'll share one with y'all that I have here. Um, here's one of the poinsettias that I created using that die and look at how pretty it is and then of course i use the dollar tree foam balls for the centers so i decided to create a card with it i decided to create a card with it and here's what my card looks like Look at how super cute this card is. Uh, here is the television. And I do have everything popped up with dimensional uh, tape. Uh, the only thing here on this piece, you see how it tends to kind of curve up? It's because my tape, I cut it a little short. So it's actually better if you do make sure that you put the tape from end to end. That way it doesn't uh, curve up on you because that's what mine is doing. But all in all, I'm real happy with this card. Um, here are the, the blooms. Look at how pretty those are. And I hope that the camera is picking it up. But I did these in a very pretty uh, red foil, a matte red foil paper. And then these as well right here. And then these I did in a pearl pink and the gold foil. And then of course I have the pine, uh, branches in just like an maybe an olive co color and I love 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 the way it came out I did combine the TV with uh, some 110 pound cardstock that um, that is um, it's very it's very firm so I really like that but I also used another pink which is a pearl pink um, because I wanted to stay with all the same colors and then, of, cold, of course, gold was my accent color. Uh, for these little knobs here, I actually added diamond dots to the knobs because 
I love the sparkle on them and the fact that, you know, I, there's no way I could create dimension underneath that little uh, circle that it does. It does cut it out, but there's no way I could add dimension to that. So I decided to just go with the diamond dots and look at what's showing Frosty the Snowman. Now, this card is not for sale or anything like that because some of these images are copyright protected. So if you're going to do an image, make sure it's a free one or royalty free one. And, um, and of course, I, I wouldn't sell this because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble for doing that. But this is just to uh, share with you that this die is very versatile. And this is probably a card that I'll give to one of my siblings. Uh, and I did add a piece of acetate over the image. And I'll share with you the other ones like I did. I printed out a couple of Rudolphs because these are the classics that we grew up watching as children. The Grinch, and of course I had to do the oldie one. This would look super cute there. Look at that, guys. So there's the Grinch. There's an extra frosty. Look at that. Is that cute or what? So any any image that you like will work. I just, for me, this reminded me of the classics. Look at that. And um, so that's what I wanted to create. Oops, it's stuck. <laughs> oh, man. Are we going to be able to get it out? <laughs> Let me grab my tweezers. This actually matches really, really well because it um it matches really well because you can see some pink in there but i just you know wanted to demonstrate what it would look like with uh you know if uh you're giving a card to one of your siblings or an aunt an uncle and there's a certain movie that they like you would be able to put the image in there or even just a picture of some you know someone or their pet or whatever and I really wanted like a retro looking oldie type of uh, sentiment. And I didn't have one, but I had this one. So I used this one in the gold. And then back here is their embossing folder. Hold on one second. Let me grab it. I have it right here. And this is the poinsettia one that I shared with y'all. Let me find the... A cover to it that way you guys know exactly what it's called but I will link it in the description box again um, if I didn't mention it before anytime I can I do use affiliate links um, so this is the folder and this is called scenic poinsettia and it is a 3d folder now I don't own a Sizzix uh, die cutting machine mine is a big shot and I had trouble running this through my big shot, what I ended up doing was taking off the top plate. I mean, not the top plate, the green, the green one that's got the, the pale green on it. I took that one off and I only used one acrylic plate on top, but underneath I used two pieces of chipboard and that worked perfect for me. So I did, I took off the green uh, piece that part of the platform I didn't use an acrylic bottom. I just used two pieces of chipboard, my 3D embossing folder with my paper, and then my one acrylic plate on top. Now, um, these embossing folders are huge, guys. You can emboss half a sheet of paper in these. These measure eight and a half, I mean, five and a half by eight and a half. So this is plenty large to accommodate, you know, our bigger cards and then, of course, our smaller cards. And I think this might be even tall enough to emboss like uh, those slimline cards that we do. But this embossing folder, it, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Not for nothing, but that's the very first embossing folder that I own by Spellbinders. And I had seen other ladies work with it, and I was I really admired it. So I, when I was able to get it, I did get it, and also the Holiday Blooms, because I think that they are a must-have for card creating 
or if you just want to create embellishments. I mean, let's take away this TV and look at the flower arrangement right there. That could be an embellishment that you send to a crafty uh, friend. And then I wanted to take it a step further. So I glued a pocket to the back of the, the TV before I adhered it to my card front. So you can actually pull it out and it holds a Christmas a gift card. All I did was this is the piece that there is a die in there for this piece, and it's the exact size of a gift card, just about. And I just added a temporary glue dot to the back so it wouldn't fall off. And then you can just slide it right into the pocket. And it is on dimension, so you know it gives me room to be able to slide it in there. But look at how cute this is, guys. I don't have a sentiment in here uh, yet. I didn't stamp anything on the inside. I just wanted to create the outside. And I wanted to share it with y'all. And then the berries in the center of the poinsettias of the embossed paper. I just used a gold pen and, um, and just colored those in to add some gold color to it. Because I wanted to stay... Um, as neutral as possible with, you know, just using the colors that I did. I didn't want to be all over the place with colors. So I just chose certain colors and I wanted to stick with that. So anyway, that's what I created. I hope that this inspires you, that it gives you ideas. Again, this would be great for a Christmas picture of your family. If you're one who takes uh, photos during Christmas, that would be perfect in there. And you could get, that could be your Christmas card. And I just love the way this came out. I hope everyone's having a great day. Bye.